afternoon, folks. Big Bo with RVs of Big Bo at Parkway RV Center. Kind of had to sneak down here to the lower lot today. It's a Saturday. Figured let's do a band today. Got a beautiful 2005 Pleasure Way Excel TS Class B camper van, wide body. Beautiful condition inside and out. I think you're really going to like this. We just had new tires put on it. Um, and it's only 20 feet long. Seems like all the bands I've been doing lately have been the 24 and 25 foot Mercedes and all that stuff. And you know, 60, 70 grand. So let's do one a little bit more affordable, a little bit smaller, easier to use. And like this is a 2005 Pleasure Way. These are built up in Canada. Very, very well built bands. Back five. I'd probably, I'd probably rate it above the road track as far as quality. Very well built, um, still around today, very popular. Not as mass produced as the road tracks were, but this is a nice one. Got a 2.8 on end generator. Um, running right now, powering everything inside. Got 98,000 miles on it, which you know, for a 2005 van, that's 20, that's still, what, 17 years old? Um, that's not bad. I mean, most 17-year-old vans are have quite a few more miles on it. This is built on a Super Duty E350. And guys, I, I didn't know it till I got down here and popped the hood. This thing's got a V10 in it. A 6.8 V10. This thing will haul you know what. Uh, if you want power, mountains, towing, whatever by gosh this thing will do it you know if if this isn't fast enough for you need to just uh buy a corvette and stay in a hotel room this is about as close to a sports car as you're ever going to get in a motorhome this thing will and i thought it was pretty peppy when i drove it down here to the lower lot and i didn't realize i thought it just had a 5.4 v8 no this is a it's got a 6.8 v10 in it guys 305 horsepower, 420 pound feet of torque in this little van. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of fun. But, uh, you know, I, don't know, I know a lot of people, you know, they like power. You're definitely going to get it with this one. It's almost like it's a, you've heard of a Super C. This is almost like a Super B, I guess. Uh, alloy wheels look great. Just had brand new tires put on it. The generator runs quiet, smooth. Dash air is cold. Dash heat's going right now, heating the entire van. It's got a furnace. Uh, this thing's nice, guys. Let's look inside. It's only 20 feet long, so it's a little bit, a little bit more maneuverable than a lot of. Now it's a little dirty, but. I just got it in, but uh, the other day they said I had a chance to wash it. Let's look inside. Inside's very, very clean, and it's all original. Carpets haven't been changed. Seats haven't been reupholstered. You know, I don't really see anything that's been added to it. It's pretty much what's in it is how it would have came back in 2005. So you can do what you want to with it. close this door and save this heat it's 37 degrees right now i miss that florida weather i know that um 98 000 and change sorry it's a little cramped in here for me keep in mind i'm showing you a small class b van i'm six foot four and 315 pounds so <laughs> it is on a ford chassis which is you don't see many fords in the vans and they were great chassis um, I know they cost a little bit more, so maybe that's a lot of it. 98, 460 something and change. Uh, stereo sounds good, CD stereo. No check engine lights, no warning lights. Got a curtain that goes all the way around the cab so you maximize your space for privacy. You've got a uh, um, tilt cruise all that good stuff leather seats they both swivel for party seating and you have a table that's sitting right here that sits right here 
give you a eating service for two more people and uh got a little storage here a couple of skylights with the curtains we got a, mi a dometic microwave it works generators running it's got about a if i had to guess about a six foot one inch tall interior ceiling height I, I have to scoop down just a little bit not bad got a three cubic foot uh three-way rv refrigerator freezer this can run off of 12 volt power it can run off of um ac electrical power like it is now since we're running the generator or it can run off of propane got a sink single basin sink sprayer faucet with the sprayer hose built in two burner stove top of course your microwave over there got the built-in coffee maker which pretty much a necessity with me of course guys let me tell you what i like to do with mine is i've got an old percolator when i go camping that i use and i know that's uh, let me know what you y'all use i mean i know we use carrigs and all that stuff at home uh but what we do in my in our little motor home which isn't much bigger than this is uh stick a percolator on the stove top it makes just a great cup of coffee yeah it's aggravating to clean up but we only do that when we go camping because that's kind of a special occasion and i uh, love the way that coffee tastes could uh you know brewed in one of those but this one's got a power sofa in the back and this actually makes a king size bed you push the button right here and i'm just going to show it to you the best i can you hold that button down and it makes a full-size bed if you didn't want to go any further than this that's going to make a full-size bed and then you put your cushions across and your table down to make the extension to make it a king-size bed so which we're not going to do that i mean you get the idea so pretty much the whole back of this thing will be a king-size bed Of course, you got a 11,000 BTU air, and it's got the optional heat strip. You got a small television right here. Um, DVD player, MP3, CD player, all that good stuff. Bathroom. You know, this isn't like a road trek where you have to take a, a shower in the middle of the hallway. This has got a fully enclosed bath what they call a wet bath where you sit on the toilet to take your shower and that's about all you can do on something like this guys to have any kind of comfort for a shower and you've got a curtain so you can leave this door open if you want to while you're taking a shower or you can close it off either way so you know it's uh of course you're only talking a 20 foot long motor home if you want a small motor home, they don't get any smaller than this. Let's just say that. <laughs> um, but I love, in fact, you know, I, I used to sell, I, I've owned several vans. I owned a Class B too, and uh, several conversion vans that I drove for personal vehicles. And I was known as a van man back when I was in sales because I sold more of these things than anybody. I've sold hundreds of these vans back when I was in sales alone. I loved them. And when you love something, it's easy to sell it. But um, it's a nice van. Definitely like that V10. If you like power, you want to get out there and, and not be the old man in the van in the right lane slowing everybody down, you're going to love this one. You know, I'm not a fan of driving over the speed limit in an RV, but I guess if I was going to do it, it I'd rather do it something like this in a big 40 foot class A. And this is can park in a regular parking spot. You know, that V10 may affect your fuel mileage a little bit, but you know, nobody drives a 20 foot box on wheels to save gas anyway, but you know, you're probably going to get 12, 13 miles a gallon if I had to approximate uh, with the V10 in this, which is still pretty good. And of course, now if you stay in it all the time, of course it's not gonna get that good. I'm just talking about average driving, 
right lane speed limit 65 70 miles an hour and just kind of taking it easy but good thing about it i don't know the towing capacity i know one with a 5.4 v8 tow around 6,000 pounds i'll have to do some research on a v10 i'm sure it'll probably tow more than that i mean this thing will probably tow seven or eight thousand pounds with that motor and that e350 chassis but i'll put it in the video description below i'll do some research when i get back to the office make sure so you want a van to tow with yeah this can do it very very comfortable van even for a big guy like me and they don't waste any space either every nook and cranny storage storage um storage underneath the couch storage underneath these little booster seats or, or whatever you want to call them um plus this gives you three extra seats in the back with the seat belts two in the front so you know if you want to use this for a traveling van in other words like a conversion van so to speak you know say you just want to take the family to a ball game or something like that heck you can drive this use it for a traveling van a camping van conversion van you know kids doing softball softball tournaments in the middle of the summer heat drive the van to the to the tournaments have a nice air conditioning spot to cool off in between games fix you something cold to drink hot to eat have a bathroom not to wait in line just do it all guys i love that's why i love vans these things are just so versatile and multiple you can use these for multiple purposes besides just going out and camping um anyway of course guys like all reused rvs we guarantee generator to run we guarantee the roof air to get cold we guarantee the refrigerator to work and we do all of that for only forty four thousand nine hundred dollars and that's cheap for a van right now guys uh man i can't believe van prices and i've got no control over those prices guys even here at the dealership we have no control over it that's just you know we have to pay those same prices you do got a really good deal on this so we're selling it for a good deal and this is a nice van with that v10 um and i know some people may not want the v10 but for those that do you're gonna love this thing it's under 50 grand financing's available with approved credit and we offer discount nationwide delivery it's a buck 50 a loaded mile um if you're interested in this vehicle give us a call 706-965-7929 please call before coming to look to make sure it's available i had another van that came in late last night they were pulling it around and some people on the lot bought it on the spot and it was a it was a road trick um in this same price as this so uh, um you know this under fifty thousand dollar vans are, are few and far between and this one's nice guys and i like the fact you know so many of these vans people have bought to live in and they've drilled holes and everything put a bunch of solar and there's nothing wrong with all that stuff but when you buy one you want one factory so you that way you know what's been done to it um you know nobody's messed around with it and jerry rigged some wiring or anything like that you know it's pretty much all original and then you can do have what you want done to it professionally um you know nobody's painted on this thing on the inside or recovered this or any of that this is the way i, I like to buy stuff i like to buy stuff original um and that way any mods i want to do to it i i can do it and i know they're done right so uh and of course you've got the generator so if you didn't want to run solar you got the generator uh 2.8 on in um run your air conditioner and all that and, and then some very neat band if you're interested give us a call 706-965-7929 is the phone number um parkwayrvcenter.com is our website go there if you want to see it i have pictures details all the exact measurements factory sales brochure and much more on our website so anybody that's watching my youtube channel and you see something you like go to my website take a look at it there and also here's your little tip um i mark my videos sold once a week when they sell but that doesn't count deposits or anything like that the website gets marked as soon as the deposit's taken 
are the units sold so if you go on there and you see it it says sale pending that means it's got a deposit if, if you don't see it on there that means it's been sold it just hadn't got around for me to put the uh sold on the video yet or you can call just to make sure 706-965-7929 and just because something says sell pending guys leave your name and number because you never knew when the deal might fall through on it and uh most of the time it doesn't happen about one out of ten it does that way uh you can they have your contact information in case it does fall through you're the next one in line so that's why it's always and i know it's old school it's old-fashioned it's always best got to if you're looking for something in particular even if this is not it and you don't see it on a website it always pays to call and talk to one of my salespeople. Tell them what you're looking for. Give them your name and number. They'll call you when it gets there. If we don't already have it or we may have it, it's not posted online yet. Um, and they can send you pictures to your phone and give you a chance to buy it before it hits online. Like that road trek this morning just came in. Y'all never have a chance to see it. People bought it on the spot. But however, you know, if... Uh, You'd left if you were looking for a van like that and you left your number with a salesperson they would have called you about it and you would have had a chance to buy it or leave a deposit on it before it sold so um again guys call anytime we're open for business which is monday through friday nine to six eastern time saturday nine to five close sunday for the lord's day and family day 706-965-7929 or come visit us but this van probably won't be here long um this under 50 grand in a class b and a nice class b that is that's not been all uh, jacked up and modified and all that is is very very popular and hard to find price range if you got questions give us a call some financing is available with approved credit and down payment if you're interested in that give us a call as well my salespeople give you up-to-date information we have no extra fees besides applicable sales tax and of course georgia residents you do have to pay a hundred dollar highway impact fee 40 to 50 dollar tag and title fee that's georgia residents only we take trade-ins again deliveries available for a dollar 50 a mile thank you so much for watching smash me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video sorry just a quick class b video um like i said i just i tried doing a class a earlier and after about the fourth person interrupting us looking at it i just said forget it i'm gonna take one i can just run down here and do a quick video at the at the bottom of the lot where i'm kind of hid from everybody never fails guys i nobody can and i know it's kind of weird but one can sit unlooked at all day but the second i try to shoot a video on it four people want to look at it and uh so i just got tired of restarting the video restarting the video so i said forget it I'll just do a little one today down here at the lower lot. So, um, thank you so much for watching. I do have a pretty good selection of Class Bs. Go to my website, again, parkwayrvcenter.com. Link in the video description below. You can see what I have. And um, come out and visit with us. Y'all have a good weekend. And look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.